E3 or bust. E3 or bust. This is the start of the journey. Us pulling out of the Starbucks. Which it makes we, us sound like hipsters. We are, well, Eric's a hipster. This is what we got. Uh, Kevin that, got a non-coffee drink. That's Eric's coffee. I got non-coffee because coffee is for suckers and lesbians. <laughs> so here's Eric driving the car, getting onto the road. Once we hit the interstate is when Netflix comes out. <laughs> yeah, and that's when uh, Eric stops paying attention to the road and starts paying attention. I don't have any BLT chips this time, so. Okay, uh, this is me holding the camera. Hey everyone. Riding dirty. Riding dirty. Yeah, we're gonna be making a ton of these videos. Most of them are gonna have me pointing the camera directly at the road so you guys can enjoy the trip with us. So this will be installment number one. We'll see you later for installment number two when we decide to record again. These little tiny things here are what Eric thinks are mountains. These are the tail, the foothills of the white tanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, the mountains in Canada are about 10 times as tall as these. Like, let's just put up in the sky. That's how tall the mountains are in Canada. And these are Arizona mountains. So, I don't even want to, I don't even know what to say about these tiny little mountains. I mean, that one over there, oh no, that one's even smaller. Dude, show the fucking Estrellas back there. What? Back there, the Estrellas. Those ones? Yeah. Them some mountains. That's it's just like a little tit. It's like an A cup of a mountain. <laughs> uh, we are currently probably about 330 miles. We have just left Phoenix city limits. Yeah, apparently Phoenix is 75 miles across, which is stupid. Why would you design a city like that? But whatever. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Mountains are stupid here. See you next trip. First stop, Quartzsite. Somewhere in the middle of buttfuck Arizona. Where we are addicted to deals. You don't give them free advertising. Fuck them. Whatever I want. We're uh, stopped at the McDonald's here to use the bathroom. We don't care to shop here. I made it halfway without having to go. Well, we're not even halfway. Third of the way. No, we're more. We're about halfway. We're not halfway. We are too. We're so not halfway. We have all those stellar we shops. Three hundred and sixty miles away, and we're not under two hundred. There's flat out not possible. Yeah, you don't think so? No. It's a beautiful area. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> all right. Onward. All right. So Kev needs a hat. Yeah, so we found this hillbilly hick little place that says they sell hats. Hopefully. Go! <laughs> Run like a douchebag! Alright. What kind of hat are you gonna get? I don't know. You gonna get a big floppy one? Right here. This one. Uh, three bucks? For three dollars? Doesn't even really fit. This fits me. Actually looks good on you. Does it? Okay, hey, man. I look like a doucher. That's what we're aiming for. Look at this one. USA A-okay! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Right here. Hold on. God bless our troops. Desert Storm. A taxpayer. <laughs> oh man, that's actually pretty good. You need to get it. Bomb is the answer. How stupid is the question? <laughs> I like this place. Oh man, these are good hats. Rub my wiener for luck. There you go. Um, there might be more hats. Oh, there's your straw hat. Right here. Yeah, but that's totally a woman's hat. So? Hello. Sunglasses for you, Kev. Also totally a woman's hat. 
You're not going to find hats cheaper than this. No, that's true. So at the very least, get yourself a USA AOK. Does that even fit? No, it fits better than the rest of them. You're stretching that out. I know. You want that one? I like that's a funny hat. <laughs> you can adjust the size on the back. Yeah, I know, so it's not that terrible. All right, uh, I, I feel like I need to get one. The real dark one? Hmm. Hey. Hey, shirt and thing up. All right, I'm sold. I'll take the hat and sunglasses. Yeah. Wow. That's a steal. Very good deals. So you think uh, if I get that hat that says I only look illegal and then give it to the chick that I'm raping, then it makes it okay? How would that make it okay? <laughs> because if, if it only looks illegal, it's not illegal. No, I think the joke there is that they're referencing that you're an illegal immigrant, not that what you're doing is illegal. Oh, I thought it was for like girls who look young but aren't young would wear that oh. hat and be like, I only look illegal. That's oh, yeah, good... the immigrant thing makes a lot more sense. Hold on, this person wants to get in. Oh, never mind. Yeah, since that's the joke, there's a lot of illegal immigrants here. Yeah. Yeah. See, there's there's no jokes like that in Canada. <laughs> Anytime you talk about someone who's illegal, it's because she's under 18. <laughs> They're cooking. There's mile marker one. We are now one mile away from Kilikali is a state murder. <laughs> Uh, apparently, there's gonna be. Hold on, I'll, I'll let Eric tell there's you. There's a border checkpoint. Hold on, I gotta do an American cut someone off here. Uh, there's gonna be a border checkpoint where they're gonna stop us, make sure we're not harboring any illegals. So, so as you guys can all see, the back here is filled with illegal immigrants. Good thing we put them all in the trunk. Yeah. Fifty bucks a head to cross into Mexico or to cross into Cali. Here we go. Inspection station, quarter mile. This is, uh, this is exciting. I'm ready to be inspected. So nor the, normally the way it goes is that we pull up, we stop, and they just kind of peek in the window, and we go on our merry way. But we're going to push the limits a little bit and yeah, we're, we're going to record it and see what happens. Okay, uh, here we go. We think that they're going to be like, well, why the fuck are you recording this? And then they're going to confiscate the camcorder, Find out Kevin's not American. Yeah, and then that I don't have my passport with me, so it'll be GG on that. So here's a welcome to California sign. California Agriculture Station. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, agriculture. Quick, hide all the weed. <laughs> oh, hold on, I should probably not record this guy's license plate. Yeah, whatever, he's from Florida, Jesus. Look at that, that. look at that guy's license plate. Woo wee, Sunshine State. Coming in hot. Uh, there's some border guards checking us out, waving us through. Oh, usually there's a guy standing here. Look at that, ain't no thing. Woo! See two white guys in a car, no biggie. Oh, this, this guy looks Spanish, he's probably. <laughs> oh, the lady in that car is kind of cute. So, uh, yeah, that was crossing into Cali. We'll see you guys closer to LA. So uh, that RV that I was showing you guys the plate of, he's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, he's pulling off over there <laughs> onto that uh, off ramp there. Uh, there was a bird in the middle of the road eating a piece of whatever. I spooked it. And Eric drove by and spooked the bird, so the bird took off. 
and flew directly into that <laughs> RV's windshield and exploded. It was freaking amazing. Uh, it's too bad because literally we put the camera away and like happened. 15 seconds before this bird just got exploded. It so. was just an explosion of guts and feathers <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, uh, too bad we didn't get it on camera, but it, it was funny. It was real good. We'll have to try to replicate it. Yeah, if we, if we see another bird, we'll pull out the camera and we'll try to run it over for you people. <laughs> Alright, Kev. What'd you get? I got a shrimp taco from fucking Taco no, Del... Del Taco. Del it Taco. Means of the taco. Alright, I'm ready to eat of the taco. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We're going around a bend. I can only multitask drive and record so well. All right, do it. Okay, I'm doing it. Ah. You caved because you said you didn't trust shrimp from a fast food joint. Well, I'll tell you in an hour whether or not I can trust it or not. <laughs> Verdict? It's pretty okay. Pretty okay. <laughs> So here we are, uh, we're about 100 miles out of LA right now, and this is apparently a giant ass wind farm. It's on both sides. With what appears to be an active volcano in the background. Yeah, well, uh, hold on, let me see if I can get a good shot of the volcano. Oh, there we go, look at that. So this is all the smoke coming off the top of the mountain. I don't know if you can really see it too well, but the smoke kind of looks like it's red and orangey. So we're thinking it's like, oh shit, super windmill. We're thinking it's like, uh, like a nuclear reactor that blew up. So hopefully, if we come back with superpowers, you'll know why. <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot of these uh, these winds windmills up in this area. Uh, believe it or not, all of these windmills are enough to power Arnold Schwarzenegger's personal gym for one month. It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Alright Eric, give us an update. We are 314 miles into the trip, just crested into Riverside, California, on our way to Compton. Yeah, we're making a stop. Uh, well, I don't know if you guys can see this, but Eric is wearing a... Oh yeah, you can totally see this. Eric was wearing a blue t-shirt. With blue shorts. With blue... Well, arguably Those blue are blue. shorts. They're, they're not... They're not the right shade of blue. They're not the trouble shade of blue. No. This, so, this is straight up crib. <laughs> yeah. So, before we get to Compton, Compton, Eric is gonna have to take off his shirt and drive without a shirt for a little while. Because I don't have tinted windows. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can find out where the Compton arches are, because I want to get some video and some pictures from there. So that'll probably be our next update. So I'll see you guys in Compton. So uh, Eric just informed me that he is having an emergency Eric situation. I might have to pull off on the side of the road. <laughs> and uh, so what do you think? The, the shrimp? Yeah. Shrimp taco must have been the emergency food. Yeah, I might have to do a side of the road dump. Alright, so uh, we're going down Truston Avenue, gonna hopefully find a shitter in time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be close, so wish us luck. Left or right, this could be, this could be a life-changing decision here. Uh, go right? yeah, I would say right. Alright, wish us luck. Alright, Eric, we're we back on the road. I made it. Tell us how it was. It was painful. <laughs> I was almost to the point where I was sweating, and when you start sweating, you know you've got less than a minute. <laughs> we pulled up to a light, and of course, it was it was red for the left turn hand, or left turn lane, and I needed to do a U-turn, and then cross traffic starts going. Of course, the lady in front of me is doing some slow-ass U-turn, but thank God we made it. Yeah, Eric was about... Uh couple seconds away from pulling over to the side of the road and just shitting on the freeway so had there not been an exit right there I would have pulled over jumped over the barricade and used a sock uh, if that would have happened I would have filmed the whole thing oh, I know just you would have been head, been heads awesome. up on that there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for that later and I think <laughs> I know what it is it's soda I've started drinking soda again and I've started to shit myself again so there you go stop drinking soda. stop drinking soda so we are just passing or coming into Anaheim now. 
So just got off the phone with Max and Renee. Yeah. Uh, they are landing at 7:30, so we're gonna go surfing for a few hours. My buddy Nick Shattuck, and then uh, probably get dinner with him. And meet up with them later. Cool. See you guys next update. Miles, so it might not be the beach here. Okay, well, Eric says right over this hill is the beach, so... Yeah, nope, wrong. We're gonna film for a couple seconds and see how it looks. That's not the beach. I see a lot more road. There's some sweet trees here. Check out these trees. Grass. Grass, yeah. Grass. I, uh, grass. I was pretty amazed when I finally saw grass for the first time on this trip. It wasn't in Phoenix. Well, yeah. actually it was at our place, but... That's oh, yeah, cheap. but that, that doesn't count. Whoa! Fake shit. All right, uh, see you at the beach. All right, here's here's attempt number two at the hill that is apparently leading to the beach. If I'm wrong this time, I'm gonna kill myself. So we're cresting the hill. And no beach. And another big hill. I'm gonna kill my, it's gotta be that hill. All right, so that hill, we'll, we'll see you guys at that hill. All right, here we are with attempt number three. At the hill? At the hill, is this. Pacific? This one looks like it yeah. might have promise. I see ocean. Boom, son. Hold on, let's zoom in on that shit. I think we got a battleship out there. Defending the coast. There America. it is, look at that, battleship. It's uh, the HMS Washington. You don't know what the fuck you're saying, do you? Dude, I do. There was a sign back in the fucking the it highway. It just said HMS Washington floating its ass out in the middle of the harbor. Yeah. It said, come see the HMS Washington battleship docked at I blah, thought blah, that blah. said the, the USS Iowa. Okay, well, this is like the worst camera angle that I possibly have because the car just pulled right in front of my wide or my close zoom shot. All right, so uh, I was right. We're After like the third. We're like uh, 15 minutes away from planting our asses on the beach, and then probably another 15 after that before we can get surfing. So hopefully we'll get some video of that to show you guys. We're gonna be meeting up with uh, Zach Zakoski. Zay our... Zay. One of our uh, listeners, followers, people. Yeah. yeah. We have extra boards though, so we have to actually pay. Yeah, we gotta rent our own boards. We'll just beat him up and take his. Uh, that would be kind of be a dick move. Maybe we could just talk him into letting us use it. <laughs> one at a time. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, yeah, we're gonna just go surfing one at a time. Do you remember the name of the street I needed? Because. Uh, no. Okay, I gotta. Got oh, oh, shit. I gotta peace out. We need this. To figure this shit out. What the fuck you parking there for? All right, we made it. Yeah, yeah, beach right there. Hermosa Beach. Made it in, what, just a shade over six and a half hours? Yep. We're gonna meet up with Nick. We're gonna try to find Zach. And hopefully it's windy enough to go surfing. Yeah, hopefully. We'll, uh, next update, we'll either be wet and happy or wet and disappointed. <laughs> so, surfing is over. First day in LA is done. It is. We are en route to Costa. Well, we just stopped at a Starbucks for Eric episode number two. Barely made, well, I shouldn't say barely made this one, but. Yeah, this one wasn't as emergency as the last. No, but it was still like I need to get here. But uh, en route to Costa Mesa, meet up with Max and Renee. I don't know about you, man, I'm sore as shit. Yeah, fuck. Uh, I have a newfound respect for people who actually surf because it's crazy. it is exhausting. You'd think that the hardest part would be standing up. The hardest part is just not flipping over when the waves hit you and actually paddling out. Because yeah. I felt like I'm paddling, 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 and I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you get hit by one wave while you're paddling out, and all of a sudden you're back 15, 20 feet, and, and then you have to paddle out again. We, we turned down the option to rent wetsuits. Yeah. Because like, fuck that, I don't need a wetsuit, it's the ocean, who cares? And the water ended up not being that cold, but I can see why you need a wetsuit, because I am raw. I mean, my nipples are so chafed right now, it's <laughs> so painful. Just having a shirt on sucks. Yeah, I got uh, I got hit by the board a couple times after <laughs> flipping. So I, I flip, and then the board fucking lose control and then the board hits me in the chest and I got a I'm sure I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with bruises I I I think I got some sort of mild concussion because when I got out of the water I couldn't see straight like my eyes were crossed over each other <laughs> and headache. it's gone now but fuck, that's tough I give respect to people who can actually surf yeah so uh we're both gonna sleep like fucking little babies tonight get to the uh, get to Max's house take a shot of moonshine go to sleep yeah all right see you all in the morning